Okay, will Trump's influence on the GOP end when his presidency ends? I say no, but Mitch McConnell wants it to be a one-termer, so surely they're going to try to scrub his legacy. He's yours, just like Bush was yours, he's yours. So, will his influence in when his presidency ends? Party of cheating. How come you didn't cheat to, to beat him? I don't understand. <laughs> <clears throat> Will the influence die when his presidency goes? I pull two of ones in the death in the eight of cups. They will scrub the heck out of that legacy. Democrats are going to remind you, don't worry. But there's two of wands in the death. So there's plans to change after he is gone here with the eight of cups. So for those who are, oh my God, he's never going to leave. Yes, he is. Six of Cups and the Lovers. They're trying to go back to the past to when they were a beloved party, at least, you know, by their base. And so they're trying to rehash that nostalgia. They're trying to bring that back. Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacle. And there's Justice in the Fear. They fear it won't balance out in the world. And the Temperance. They are going to spin messages in the media. They are possibly going to um, single out here with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Single out directly, like they're going to hit this head on. No more punches pulled. Those who support him and those who do not. Will of Fortune. Time. Both past, present, and future are against you. Word of Solace, Two of Cups. You still have a base. It has shrunk, but you still have a base. Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Clarity and Truth. So, here's the thing. They are indeed going to try to um, scrub the legacy of Donald Trump once he leaves. Here with the Death card. Once he is leaving out the door, they are going to try to scrub the legacy of Donald Trump. The problem is, with the world and the will of fortune, we, we have record of this. We don't have record of how George Washington treated everyone, but we do have record of how Donald Trump treated everyone. You're not going to be able to just scrub this out. We're going to remind you, especially during midterms, if Joe Biden gets in, we're going to remind the country of what it was like when Republicans were in charge. And then if he doesn't go, if, if Joe Biden gets in, he doesn't go for a second term and then Kamala runs for president, then they are going to remind again what happens when you vote for Republicans, especially Trumpians. And so you will be painted as a Trumpian, not a Republican. So, congratulations. That is your legacy. At least for the next 10 years. You spent so much time defending him. You spent so much time taking up for him. There is no way that he is not your legacy. That's what temperance is. You spent so much time taking up for him. Temperance. You see one vessel to the other. 
One foot in the land, one foot in the water. That's balance. Balance of head, mind, body, spirit, emotion. Balance of all of that. All of that means balance. Perfect balance. Harmony balance within yourself. That's the legacy you painted. That you were one. That you were all part of one group. So, he's in your family. He's at your table. He's belching the alphabet. He belongs to you. <laughs>